Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at a number of different examples now of using the lighter colour blend mode. So we're going to start off here, we can select our layer, hit Control J to duplicate it, then Control I to invert it, and then we're going to blend it back. So I go from normal here using the lighter colour blend mode. And you see we've got kind of an interesting effect here. This picture sort of does it quite well. Sometimes you're going to get inversion of colours here, so the car here was red, it's now green and this has gone red, but notice usefully the sky has stayed blue, which keeps a sense of realism in this. And what you can do then is you can also, by the way, turn the opacity down here to sort of bring it a little bit so you can have part of this effect. But we'll leave it all the way up for now. And because what we're going to do is just look at going into here, some areas like this, which I, I don't like the effect there. So all I need to do is basically get back to the original and a cheap and cheerful way to do that is to go over and select the Arrays tool brush. Um, then with the pasty right up, just paint away here, which basically knocks out the top layer and gets back to the bottom layer there where you've got sort of skin. You want to keep the original on that. So that kind of thing you can do. But you've entered there, you've got an interesting effect. What to do as well is if I click outside the picture here, so nothing is selected. So when I put on a uh, curves, clicking outside, by the way, you need the move tool. Now you can see the histogram is kind of sort of pushed up the right hand side. So if I bring this up here like this, you can see it's sort of like the using the full length. And so it's now a bit more, um, you know, full, full histogram and the sky has come back a bit more, but you still got that interesting effect. So let's go back to the beginning. Because the way that light colour works, it literally compares the the new colour, the blend mode, uh, blend layer and the uh, original base and say, I'll just take the lightest colour. And so if I go over here, say, you've got myself a dark colour here and a light colour here, but if I've got a colour in between, I could paint on that. So I go to the paintbrush here and I can go to the blend mode here. So it says blend mode. I could I can actually do it there. So lighter colour. Then any colour here which I pick. So if I pick a lighter blue, it's going to paint. See some areas are covered. Yeah. So the black there is is it's not going on to. But if I come down here, let's do undo that. I'm putting a kind of a darker blue here. Now then, when I paint here, it's only going to the darker areas. So it's a quick way of effectively masking areas like this. However, then that's maybe it's a little bit on the blue side. So if I undo that, there a better way to do that is get on a add a pixel layer, and then paint on this layer. My blend mode now just leave that back as normal, and change the the, the blend mode of that pixel layer then to lighter color, so that now I get the same effect. I can paint on this, but it's also an, a non-destructive way of doing that, because I can do then things like I can turn the opacity down on that afterwards to give a bit of a tint into the shadows. So it's a very easy way of darkening the shadows. Right, so let's delete that. And let's go back out again. What we can do as well is I uh, take that same sort of idea and do it as a fill layer. So if I go to layer, new fill layer, and change the blend mode of that to light colour. It's white, it's always lightest colour so it always wins but I can change the colour of this up here. Now I can just fiddle around until I get a colour here that's kind of giving an interesting effect overall. So I'm really sort of colouring the shadows here all together and then bring down the opacity to something suitable and just turn it up again. And there I've got is a tint in the shadows. So shadow tinting is, is a good way of, of doing this. What I can do as well, then another thing is to put another layer above this. So I'll put another fill layer, layer, new fill layer. And I can make this a colour that's going to be a bit lighter. And let's say put in a, again, back to lighter colour. But now we'll, we'll just sort of explore this down again. And if we turn this up just a little bit, see, we're going to take like the next layer. So we just find somewhere that works. So you've got the original colouring, but you also got this colouring as well. And again, turn down the opacity 
and you'll get more of a blend of that. So you can put in multiple layers of that, which gives you a kind of interesting effect. Going beyond this again, so the similar sort of thing, but we want to do a kind of double layer. So I'm going to take the top layer off, turn the, that one right up again. But now I'm going to put in a new fill layer. And uh, I'm going to make the, the blend mode of that darker colour. And now when I play around with the colour of this, here we go, I can just find things. Now I've got, look at that wonderful two-tone effect. I've, I've got myself a uh, interesting picture like that. And I can also click on the top one, shift click the bottom and control G to group it. So I can just do the opacity of both at once. I can bring this down here. So I got a kind of split toning effect. There we go. Isn't that interesting? And uh, last one. Then we will do a um, black and white layer like this, which goes black and white. Change the blend mode here to lighter colour. And now look what happens if I turn down the colours here. The, that colour comes back and it's because it's comparing the original colour with the... This is effectively putting in a darker colour and it brings out the original colour. And so you can effectively pop colours like this. You, know, you for good and you want the sky to come back, just bring up cyan, maybe a bit of blue. Skies are mostly cyan. And so there we go. Lots of different ways that you can use the lighter colour blend mode. That's it and thank you very much for watching.